And number seven is another great British institution, even if it is owned by Ford these days. It is, of course, the Jaguar XJ8. Mention Jaguar and anyone over the age of 25 will think of Arthur Daly in Minder, but that only belies the image of a great luxury car. Smart, sleek, stylish, leather-lined, expensive and exclusive. It's every inch the classic executive chariot. Fantastic performance is supplied by one of the three V8 engines from the hard-working 3.2-litre to the 4-litre 370 brake horsepower supercharged in the XJR. However, it's in the ride where you find this car is at its most luxurious. It smooths out windy bends and potholes on our British country back roads and has agile handling to complement its positive and responsive steering. But underneath this smart, civilised suit, there lurks something more sinister. A snarling 4-litre V8 pumping out 370 brake horsepower. Mm. So that'll give you 0-16 and nudges over 5 seconds and enough road-going attitude to satisfy even the most rabid of boy racers. Inside the saloon, the mix of wood and leather adds to the complete feel of luxury along with a high standard of equipment as in all models. Everything is electrically controlled, including the seats, rain-sensitive windscreen wipers and a reverse parking aid. You wouldn't want to dent your 50 grand Jag now, would you? The XJ8 is let down slightly when it comes to practicality. The rear is unexpectedly cramped, the roof a tad low in the front, and the boot is too shallow to fit any more than a couple of suitcases. In fact, it's smaller than that of the Ford Mondeo. In all, however, the XJ8 is a great luxury car, and the safety and security levels are excellent too.